tall man stand beside a field on a road in the middle of nowhere, staring into the back of their car. We're dead. We're dead. Actually, he's the dead one. That's why we're dead. I'm not following. We're dead because he's dead. We are. I don't feel dead. Oh, don't get smart. The boss is going to kill us when he finds out that this guy is dead. But I thought the boss wanted him dead. No, no. The boss wanted to kill him. The difference being... Well, he can't kill him if he's already dead now, can he? Oh, I see. It's one of those dick measuring things. Look at me, I can bring you here and kill you myself. I'm a big boy with a big stick and a fat arse. Eh, uh, something like that, I guess. What did he do to piss the boss off anyway? No idea. I, I, I just got told to bag him and bring him to the boss. You forgot the alive part. <laughs> ha, bloody ha. You know, we we wouldn't be in this predicament if someone had remembered to drill holes in the boat. You didn't tell me to. And he might have made it if someone hadn't got lost. I, I took the wrong turn off. But you didn't know that. You didn't stop, you didn't turn around, and you didn't ask for bloody directions. Well, well I, I can't exactly stop and say, mm-hmm. Sorry, do you know the way to the boss's evil lair? No, I don't think that would go down so well. Not even with the village idiot. So what do you think he did? I don't know. Probably stole something. Not money, I guess. The boss is missus, perhaps. Oh, please. Look at him. He's a, he's a balding fat fart. She bo- w- the boss is a balding fat fart. Yeah, and she doesn't touch him. She hates him. It's true. Hmm. Do you think he's the boss's nemesis? He's what? You know, he's he's equal but opposite. The boss is already married to his missus. No, you daft twit. I mean, like, like his enemy, yeah? Only equal in strength. No, I can't be. Look at him. He's a dead git. Yeah, but Superman was a git in glasses. No, that was Clark Kent. It's the same thing. Not a chance. I'm, 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 I'm not going to argue this with you now. I, I have to figure out how we're going to get this out of here and us out of this. Down that road, I expect. Out of this mess, you idiot. I know what you mean. I was just having a laugh. Don't you have a sense of humour? Not when I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere with a dead guy in my car. (sighs) Do you think we should have a funeral? What? You know, bury him in the field, say a few words. It's as good a plan as any, I suppose. Poor bastard. It's not his fault he's dead. Yeah. It's yours. Start that again. I'm not. Come on, let's get him out. At least there's no blood this time. The dead guy moves. (laughs) Oh, come on! It was a reflex action. (laughs) He was already dead. Evidently he wasn't. Oh, he's dead now. Again. Because you blew half his bloody face off! Yeah, sorry about that. Do you have any idea how long it's going to take to clean this up? Couple hours, I expect. Shut up and help me get him out. You can take his head. Fair enough. Oh, watch out! He's not going to feel anything, he's dead. But banging his head is making more of a mess. Sorry. He doesn't have much brains left, does he? Shut up. I don't think he had much to begin with. Shut up. Most of it's in your car now. Shut up! Oh, for fuck's sake.
like. He's heavy, okay? And the legs are easy to carry. It's not as awkward. I don't care. Pick him up! <laughs> Do you have any shovels? Oh, fuck! After procuring some shovels from a travelling salesman, our two heroes set to work digging a rather large hole. One, two, three. Come on, get up, get up, get up. I think we should say something. What if you do it? What was his name? No idea. Um, Barry. All right. I gathered here today to lay to rest Barry. He's dead. Probably because I shot him. What do you think he did for a living? A lawyer? Nah, lawyers are good looking. They need to woo the jury. Doctor. Oh, I wouldn't want him as my doctor. Creepy fella, isn't he? IT guy. Yeah, <clears throat> seems about right. Right. So we lay to rest Barry, the IT guy. Uh, do you think he had a missus? Him? Not likely. Maybe he bought one off the interweb. Maybe. Kids? Don't think so. Probably a low sperm count. Okay. We lay to rest Barry, the IT guy. He's survived by his wife, Chi Chi, and his two little girls, Natoya and Monifa, who aren't really his. God rest his soul. Had your fun? Have some respect for the dead. Oh, shut up. The sun sets as our intrepid heroes pat some dirt on the cops. Oh, oh, bugger me, I'm glad that's done. Yeah, I'll miss Barry. You're an ass. Yeah, but I'm better looking ass than you. That's not what your mum said. Why? she makes great spaghetti. She's half Italian, you know. Oh, bullshit. It's true. So what now? Uh, grab a pint. Yeah, all right. I don't know, that was just to end the recording. <laughs> the red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. Wouldn't it be funny if I didn't press record? No. The play you just heard was Johnny and Clive, a play in one act written by a renegade mind. In it, you heard myself, a nomad soul, as Johnny, and my good friend Dwayne Behrens as Clive. Thank you, Dwayne.